Right, good evening everybody and welcome to tonight's health webinar. Congratulations for making the time to watch tonight and to get some info on how you can protect your health and that of your loved ones. Hi, my name is Patrick Maythepike from Port Elizabeth in South Africa. For almost 30 years, my wife and I have been involved in the health and wellness industry as Neolife distributors. It's our dream to make a positive difference in people's lives by sharing what the very latest science is telling us and empowering them to take control of their health. Tonight we're going to be talking about heart disease. According to all the world health authorities, it's the biggest killer in the world. The World Health Organization stated in 2015 that it accounted for over three out of every 10 deaths worldwide. Now, if we put that another way, that's almost one out of every three people die from heart attacks. It's scary, or heart disease, I should say. What's of even more concern to us here in South Africa as a developing country is that as the incomes go up, so does the incidence of heart disease. As you can see from this graph, in low-income countries, heart disease is responsible for about 103 deaths per 100,000 population. So we can look at them here, stroke, and those two add up to 103. If we look at um, the other side, where we've got high-income groups, it goes up to 208 deaths there, there, and there. That's over a 100% increase. Everyone knows someone with heart problems, mostly high blood pressure and high cholesterol. Now, what is really amazing is that these are mainly due to lifestyle choices that we make. So this means that we can control them by changing our lifestyle. Just look at what the World Health Authorities are saying. The World Health Organization says, eat more omega-3 rich foods, eat more fruit, nuts, vegetables, and whole grains, eat more, sorry, maintain your healthy body weight. American Heart Association, basically the same thing, eat more fruit and veg, eat more whole grains, eat more fish. All the health authorities in the world are saying basically the same thing. Here's another one quoting the American Heart Association, recommended dietary passion patterns that emphasize fruit and veg will make a difference. Okay, the two biggest risk factors are generally recognized as having high cholesterol and high blood pressure. Now the amazing thing about this is that modern medicines recognize treatments for these things don't actually work very well and they may even cause more harm than good. It's far healthier and far cheaper to consider using natural remedies to control cholesterol than blood pressure. Now, I know you might be astounded by this, but bear with me and I'll show you what the latest science is telling us. Let's start with cholesterol. Okay. We've been brainwashed over the last 40 years to believe that cholesterol is the mother of all evils. The truth is, without cholesterol, you couldn't live. It's essential for proper cellular functioning. We've been told that we eat too much cholesterol, that we should cut out fatty foods and only eat low-fat, no-fat brands. In fact, this is nonsense. And there are numerous studies to show that what we eat has absolutely no effect on our cholesterol levels or risk of heart attack. If you look at this study, what they're saying here is, further existing data have clearly demonstrated that dietary cholesterol is not correlated with increase of chronic heart disease. Okay. Here's another one that says, the brain controls your blood cholesterol, not your diet. Okay. There's dozens of studies like this. There's a new one from China, came out about 18 months ago, I think, done over many years with thousands of men. And the researchers' conclusion was, what we eat has no effect on blood cholesterol levels. Now, just got to make sense here. Obviously, you can't exist on a diet of junk food and expect to be healthy. Remember what the World Health Authority said. But why all this hype about cholesterol? Well, simply put, cholesterol is a multi-billion dollar industry. Think about all the cholesterol-lowering drugs, all the low-fat foods, all the margarines and plant oils. 
financially speaking, there's just too much at stake to start pushing the notion of cholesterol being bad for you. It's just the way it is. Actually, cholesterol isn't the problem. Chronic long-term inflammation is the problem, as you'll see as we go through this. The truth is that cholesterol-lowering drugs, statins, are actually very inefficient and actually cause far more harm than good. As you can see from this slide, there's a report on two different reports here. This one says 300 plus health problems linked to statin drugs. This one says statin drugs found to accelerate arterial calcification. That's going to push your blood pressure up. Good one, eh? Do statins prevent or promote cancer? Okay, here's another report. In conclusion, we feel that there's ample evidence that statins may promote cancer. What we need to do is to pay attention to what science is actually telling us and not pay attention to what's advertised on the media and on the TV. Statins have terrible side effects, including dizziness, muscle and joint pain, swelling, liver damage, memory loss, reduced immunity, and increased risk of cancer, diabetes, Parkinson's, and Alzheimer's. Why would you want to take them? Why would anybody want to prescribe them? Now, let's switch tracks and think about this a little bit. We've been told that cholesterol clogs the arteries and causes heart disease. Well, if this was true, how come it only happens to the arteries around your heart? Why not the arteries in your legs, the ones they pull out and put around your heart when they do a bypass? Doesn't make any sense, does it? We've been told that we need to eat low-fat, cholesterol-free foods like margarine, and they're aggressively marketed. Here's a classic example. Okay. This product is touted as being clinically proven to reduce cholesterol. Or is it? Actually, if you listen very carefully, you'll find that it's the plant sterols in the product that are clinically proven to reduce cholesterol, not the product. They just say it very quickly and then bombard you with lots of visuals so you don't actually catch. It's actually brilliant advertising if you think about it, even though it's dishonest. If you look at the ingredient list, though, which is not actually on the box, you find that plant sterols only amount to 13% of the product. That's not a very lot. Okay. Here's the real issue. The ratio between omega-6 and omega-3. Omega-3 is anti-inflammatory, while omega-6 causes inflammation. And science now knows that we have a major imbalance due to our modern diets. The ideal would be to have a ratio of 1 to 1, omega-3 to omega-6. But health authorities all agree that if you could get it 1 to 4, that would be good. In the Western world, our ratios are typically 1 to 17 to 1 to 20. So we get in way too much omega-6, and it's causing chronic long-term inflammation in our bodies that sets us up for chronic diseases like heart disease. If you look at the ingredient list on this one, you'll see that it's actually 1 to 7. And this is supposed to be a healthy alternative to butter. Again, there are numerous studies to back up what I'm showing you. Okay. This one here was 2002, says that Western diets is 15 to 1, 16 to 1. The latest info, as I've said, is it's 17 to 1, 20 to 1. Okay. The bottom line is that we need to reduce the amount of omega-6 we're taking in every day and increase the amount of omega-3. It makes me wonder about the ethics of companies who sell you omega-3 and 6 supplements. Makes you wonder, doesn't it? And again, there's overwhelming scientific evidence to confirm what I'm telling you. I did a Google search of omega-3 plus heart health, and this is what came up. About 13 and a half million entries. Okay. What science is actually now suggesting is that the body is using cholesterol as a band-aid to try and protect the inflamed artery walls. It's actually layering, layering it over the inflammation to protect those walls. 
So cholesterol is actually the good guy. Remember what the heart, I mean, the health authorities are telling us? It's the choices we make that make all the difference to our health. What we need to be doing is improving our diets by eating more fruit and veg, nuts, whole grains, and good fats, like saturated fats, like butter, olive oil, etc., to eliminate processed foods, all of which contain lots and lots of omega-6. And in addition, we need to supplement to bridge the gap between what we're actually getting and what our bodies require. Okay, let's change gear here and look at blood pressure. It's the other major thing that's blamed for heart disease. Well, you know, it's called the silent killer. The interesting thing is that they still measure blood pressure the same way they've been doing for over 100 years. It's a very subjective method and it's very open to human error. Anyway, based on what the reading they get, is, they'll tell you your blood pressure is low, normal or high. And let me ask you a question. Which one of these guys has normal blood pressure? All of them. Because blood pressure is adaptive. It changes all the time depending on the circumstances. What happens when you get a massive fright? Your blood pressure skyrockets. It's perfectly normal. It's so that we can get enough blood to our muscles and our brain so that we can either run or stand and fight. It's part of our survival mechanism. Okay. So there's not really something like normal blood pressure. Now, obviously, if it's continuously high, there's a problem. But the key is understanding how blood pressure works and then correcting what is causing it to be high. And the easiest way to do that is to think of it in terms of an irrigation system. Okay, your heart's the pump and the arteries and veins are the pipes. Now, what's the purpose of an irrigation system? Well, it's to deliver life-giving water and nutrients to plants. Okay. Our blood delivers oxygen and nutrients to our cells. There's three things that are going to determine the efficiency of this system. One is the diameter of the pipes. Okay. The bigger the pipes, the easier it's going to be to pump water through them. Number two is the viscosity of the liquid. Viscosity is a fancy word for thickness. It's a lot easier to pump water through pipes than it is to pump syrup. Makes sense. And the third one is the height of the water, the height that you have to raise the water because you're working against gravity. So what happens if you reduce the diameter of the pipes? Well, then the pump's got to work harder. What happens if you thicken the liquid? Same thing. The pump's got to work harder. If the water table drops and you've got to raise the water higher, pump's got to work harder. Now, it's exactly the same thing in our cardiovascular system. If our pipes, the arteries, are narrowed because of inflammation, or if the blood gets thicker, the heart's going to have to work harder to supply enough blood to the brain, the organs, and the muscles to keep us going. If we never exercise, we don't help the heart overcome the effects of gravity. When we Exercise, for instance, the muscles in our legs squeeze the veins and help the heart circulate the blood. The bottom line is the heart is going to regulate the pressure to meet the demand so that we can keep functioning. So blood pressure functions, sorry, blood pressure fluctuations are a normal result of the state of our arteries and fitness. See, so here's my question. What sense does it make to give you a drug that slows your heartbeat down or thickens your blood to control your blood pressure? Well, that's exactly what blood pressure tablets do. It doesn't make any sense. Surely the sensible thing to do would be to reduce the inflammation in the arteries and thin the blood naturally without using chemicals with horrendous side effects. Do you know that something as simple as drinking enough water can reduce your blood pressure? It thins the blood. Okay, it does a whole lot of other good things for you, but it does reduce your blood pressure. 
getting your omega-3 to omega-6 ratio correct and reducing the inflammation in your arteries will reduce your blood pressure. So will getting off the couch and exercising. And all of them are a lot healthier and a lot safer than using drugs. Far more dangerous than cholesterol or blood pressure is elevated levels of homocysteine. A lot of you are probably saying never heard of it. Well, that's common, even among doctors. But there's overwhelming evidence that shows that high levels of homocysteine are implicated in heart disease, as well as cancer and Alzheimer's. And again, if you do a Google search, heart health and homocysteine, you find there's over 475,000 entries. Okay? There's a lot of evidence for what I'm telling you tonight, friends. So the next time you have a blood test, ask your doctor to check your homocysteine levels. Now, the good news is that homocysteine is very easy to control with some simple vitamins. That's probably why it's not so popular with anybody else, because you can't make a fancy drug to cure it. Okay, so let's summarize. Cholesterol isn't the culprit. Chronic inflammation is. So we need to reduce the inflammation in our bodies. And we do this by cleaning up our diets, eliminating the omega-6 rich foods, basically all your processed and packaged foods, your margarines and your manufactured plant oils, like canola oil, triple refined oils, etc. And then by eating a diet high in fresh fruit and veg, nuts, whole grains, and oily fish. And supplement with a good quality omega-3 and antioxidants like vitamin C, vitamin E, and carotenoids. They all protect your heart and your arteries. We need to drink enough good quality water, minimum six to eight glasses a day, to help keep our blood thin, and we need to exercise regularly. If we do these things, we'll go a long way to reducing our risk of heart disease and improving our overall health. Now, I've got to give you a disclaimer. If you are on heart medication, do not stop without, taking, without consulting your medical practitioner first. Okay, so that's the bad news. The good news is that there's a company that has some solutions for us, Neolife. <coughs> Excuse me. They have a mission to make the world a healthier and a happier place. They've been around for almost 60 years. Okay? They operate in over 50 countries around the world, and they're the world leaders in organic whole food supplements. And that whole food is important because your body understands what whole food is and recognizes it and utilizes it efficiently. They've had over 30 world firsts in product development. There's no other company that comes close in the nutrition field. They're recognized by all the major scientific and research organizations around the world and actually consulted by a lot of them. And they have a world-renowned and respected scientific advisory board Global Science Network, and Health Professionals Council. Their scientific advisory board is made up of leading scientists in the world, each one of them a world leader in their own field. They don't necessarily work for Neolife, but they consult to Neolife. And they're responsible for the research and development, manufacture, and quality of the product. So you can be assured that everything Neolife puts out works, and is first class quality. In addition, they've got a health professionals council that is totally unique in the world. You know, the scientists sitting in the laboratories very often have no idea what's happening out in the marketplace. Each one of the guys you see in this slide is a practicing medical doctor. They also all happen to be Neolife distributors. And they're out there dealing with the public every day. So they know exactly what the problems are, what the trends are. And they liaise, they liaise with the scientific advisory board. And as a result, we get what is needed in the world today in terms of products. Like Formula 4 Plus. It's a multivitamin, multimineral. But it's so, such, so, so much more than just that. It contains tree and N, which is unique 
No other product in the world contains it. It simply means three and N, and it's a blend of lipids and sterols. They clinically proven to increase cellular functioning, resulting in better use of available nutrients. Okay. In other words, whatever you're taking in is going to be better utilized in your body, whether it's food, whether it's supplements, whether it's medication, you're going to get better results. It enhances your cardiovascular development. We're talking about heart health tonight. It will play a major role in keeping your heart healthy. It also will increase your energy levels and improve your response to stress, both of which are big problems today and are implicated in heart disease. If you look at the, the graph that I've just put up, if we look at the nutrient utilization, you'll see that without TRNN and with TRNN, it's almost a 100% increase there. The same thing goes for cardiovascular disease development. There's a huge difference. Basically what happens is our cells, and understand that everything in our body happens in our cells. When you eat something or whether you take some medication, it doesn't benefit you until it gets out of your, your digestive system, into your blood, and ultimately into your cells. And only then can you be benefit from it. Now, our cells all have a membrane around them, a skin around them, and that determines what gets in and what gets out. Without those lipids and sterols that we just spoke about, those skins get hard and impermeable. So the good stuff can't get in and the bad stuff can't get out. And the very first thing that happens is you start feeling tired. And that's happening at a younger and a younger age. So that is a foundational product to remain healthy. The next one is Neolife's carotenoid complex. Carotenoids are super antioxidants. And this is the only complete full spectrum carotenoid supplement in the world today. It's been tested and clinically proven to be bioavailable, as are all the products that we have. It will boost your immune system by 37% in just 20 days. It will decrease oxidative damage to cells by 44%. Remember we're talking about chronic inflammation? Well, this will help reduce that. It also increases your natural killer cells by 20% in 20 days, so you're able to fight off bugs and things. It protects against heart disease and it even protects against macular degeneration. It really is good for your heart. The next one is Omega-3 Salmon Oil Plus. Now, I spoke a lot about salmon oil, but what most people don't understand is that all the Omega products out there are incomplete, except for Salmon Oil Plus. Omega-3 actually comprises of eight members. Most Omega products will sell you two. Okay. And when they're all eight together, they're clinically proven to work far more effectively in your body. This product is clinically proven to be bioavailable, as we've already said. It will reduce the triglycerides, the bad fats in your blood, by 17%. It improves the omega-3 to 6 ratio by 43%. Remember, we spoke about how important that ratio is and how we need to get it down to about 1 to 4. It will lower inflammatory index. Again, we spoke a lot about inflammation being such a big problem. Now, you can buy those products individually, or you can buy Pro Vitality Pack, the ultimate in convenience. And one little sachet there will contain one of each of the products I've just spoken about. And all you need to do is take one sachet, put it in your bag, your briefcase, your pocket, and you've got yourself covered for the day. The next product I want to talk about is lipotropic adjunct. I spoke about homocysteine and said, you know, a lot of people don't know about it. Well, Neolife's been producing lipotropic adjunct specifically to control homocysteine level for more than a decade. Okay, it contains folic acid, vitamin B6, and vitamin B12, which are all proven to lower homocysteine. It contains beta hydrochloride, which will assist in the metabolism of B12. As we get older, we can't metabolize B12 that well. 
and it controls, <clears throat> excuse me, and it contains citrus bias flavonoids that support the health of the circul circulatory system. So, what are your options tonight if you're looking for the first time? Well, you can buy the product from the person who invited you to look at this and you can reduce the risk of heart disease and that of your families and make yourself more healthy. Or if you want to be more proactive, you could join our Neolife Club. It's free. You can buy the products online at a discount and there are other benefits. And if you'd really like to join us in helping make the world a healthier and a happier place, you can join us and become a distributor. You can get the products at a 20 to 25% discount. And you can take advantage of the amazing business plan to make some extra money or to change your life completely. The exciting thing is it's up to you. Speak to the person who invited you for more details. Now, I've really enjoyed chatting to you this evening. And I hope that what I've given you is enough information to help you make some informed choices and start taking control of your health. That's it from me tonight, folks. Good night. God bless.